Today we're removing the stereo from a 1995 Mercedes E320. Uh, the removal process for this radio is common to many. Uh, we see this stereo in the shop depending on the manufacturer and the Bose system. If this is the Becker stereo, uh, normally and you're having audio problems, this is a Bose amplifier problem. If this is the uh, Alpine radio, this will be uh, either a radio or an amplifier problem. Uh, we also see the volume control be erratic and not work properly on this one. And uh, buttons loose and so on. Uh, the display uh, is right now is a is a light gray. If the display goes a dark gray, this is going to require some type of replacement because the uh, display can't be uh, replaced. Uh, anyways, the removal process, like I say, is like many other Mercedes. It's very simple. We have a special set of uh, DIN removal tools, and the end on them has a little angle at the end. And if we're going to use this size angle we're going to put it into the slot over here on the left side bottom left side of the radio it will slide straight in and you'll sort of feel it uh, click right into place like it just did there and then we're going to try this one again with the angle being the opposite way where the angle the more point goes towards the outside of the radio and we're going to put it into the slot again on this side you should be able to hear it snap when it, there it goes a little clip and then we're going to grasp the outside ends and pull them out away from the radio a little bit and pull the radios hopefully right out of the dash on this one. Uh, put our finger in the tape holder, help pull on the radio as well, but this is how the radio comes out. Uh, we're going to release these clips and to release these clips are little springs on each side of the radio. You push the spring in and re wiggle the tool loose. Uh, this works for both sides. Push the spring into the radio and the tool will release. And then we're going to get to the uh, connectors on this radio. We have uh, the ground connection, which uh, releases just by pulling back. The antenna releases by pulling back. And then the main connector, there are triggers along the sides of the connector. Three triggers. We're going to push those triggers in and try and wiggle these connectors loose. These can be separate connectors. There's the first one. Push the trigger in, wiggle the connector loose. and you have all the connectors released. Uh, this is how you remove the stereo from a 1995 Mercedes E320. And if you're wondering whether this was the Becker or the Alpine, uh, Becker will always have their label on the side of the radio and tell you the model number. Uh, Alpine will have a label on the top or the bottom and will, they will not even mention their, radio, their uh, name on this one. I guess they're not proud of that for this radio. I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.